Also right now it's six. The family of an unarmed black man shot and killed by D.C. police speaks out for the very first time. One of the hardest things I ever did in my life was to sit down and have to plan a funeral for a son that was 31 years old. We heard from Terrence Sterling's family for the first time last night at 11. In their only television interview since the shooting, they talked about their nine month wait for answers. We've been trying to be patient and, and asking God to give us patience and people are rallying around us and helping us to get through this situation. But you, you know, your, your, your patients have a point too where they, they come to an end and you wanna know what's going on. Here's the story. Terrence Sterling was riding his motorcycle last September when D.C. police say the 31-year-old Fort Washington, Maryland resident rammed into their cruiser. Officer Brian Trainer opened fire, killing Sterling. Now, Sterling did not have a weapon, and Officer Trainer did not turn on his body camera until three minutes after the shooting. In the video, you see a second officer attempting to give Sterling CPR. The shooting sparked protest and questions about what led to the use of deadly force. Tonight, we hear from Terrence's former boss about Terrence's life and what he hopes will come from his death. Here's Delia Gonzalez. But you don't want to remove the toolbox? No, I'll leave his tools in there. I still, I still say it's his truck. <laughs> and nine months later, Terrence's work truck remains virtually untouched. It's still parked here in the back lot where he left it. I sat down with Anthony Dixon at AMD Mechanical Contractors. He was not only Terrence Sterling's boss, he was more like a big brother. This story is about, you know, really finding out who Terrence is outside of that horrific video outside mm -hmm. of the headlines outside of you know unarmed, unarmed black man shot and killed in Washington right um, you know do you hate that he's become that label um, I think with, with all that's going on the focus has really stirred away from him as a person mm -hmm. um, with everything that's going on you know across the country so um, but I, I wish there was more attention to him. Um, you hear about all the others, but you really don't hear about Terrence. So I'm just hoping that his death won't go in vain, that some change will happen, um, if not across the country, at least in the city. Yeah. You said we're not saying his name enough. No. We're not talking about him enough. No. What do we need to know about Terrence Sterling? Um, how great he was um, as a person. Terrence was selfless. Um, he would do for anybody um, and would never even bring it up. You would never know what he did for somebody else. He was not that type that, you know, went and ran and told. He came from great people and he knew how to be a man. They taught him how to be a man, so. Um. And you would expect someone who was taught those lessons also know as a black man how to conduct yourself with police officers. Definitely, definitely, yeah. He, w he would definitely know that. And we, we've discussed different things, you know, that happened across the country and had those discussions. And, um, you know, he was always positive about what not to do. If we take the time to understand people and stop prejudging people, we won't have these issues. Um, but when will that ever happen? But it has to happen one, one, one person at a time. Because we all do it. So this is your contribution. Yeah. This yes. is you talking about the man that Terrence was. The, yes. The soul, the 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 kindness, the the smile. Um, you know, beyond how it ended. Yes. But how he lived. He will never be replaced. And I've been trying. And I'm judging everybody that comes in my company as if they were Terrence and they never match up. And that's hard, that's, that's me trying to replace him and I can't. Delia Gonsalves, W, USA 9. Both officers involved in that case remain on paid leave. DC's Attorney General Carl Racine is not commenting on the criminal investigation. The family, meanwhile, is suing the city and the police department for $50 million. 
And Bruce, there's been a lot of strong reactions to this story on our social media. Angela wrote, quote, no drugs, no guns, no criminal background, just a hardworking man riding his motorcycle home from a local fundraising event. Christopher's comments sparked a lot of backlash. He said it's sad, but if he ran the police cruiser trying to hit the officer, then the officer had every right to shoot to defend himself. While well, Janice added, quote, not every police officer is built to be a police officer. Panic, fear, stress, anger rule their reasoning. And you can find Delia's entire conversation with Terrence Sterling's parents on our website. That's WSA9.com.